I am Anil Kumar. Let us prepare for complex numbers. We will actually review what we learned about rationalizing denominator. So we will take few examples. We can have 4 over square root of 7, right? We need to rationalize this. Basically, when we are trying to rationalize, we multiply in a manner so that we get rid of the square root part from the denominator, correct? We could have something like the 7 minus, uh, let's say minus square root of 2 divided by 4 plus square root of 3, for example. And we may be required to rationalize so that we get rid of the square root 3 from the denominator. Let me take a simpler one also. Let's say we have 5 over 2 minus square root 3. How do we rationalize this, right? So these three examples will kind of cover uh, most of the type of things which we do for rationalizing denominator. In the first case, when we have 4 over square root of 7, we could just multiply and divide by square root of 7, right? So that helps us to get rid of square root from the denominator. We get 4 times square root 7 the numerator. Denominator will be you could write directly at this stage uh, 7 or if you want to let's go one more step 7 times 7 is 49 and then you say 4 square root 7 is equals to uh, 4 square root 7 over 7 is your solution correct so that is how you rationalize now if you have kind of a binomial type of a thing here okay in that case what do we do in that case we multiply and divide by its conjugate so we have 4 plus square root of 3. Conjugate is, change this number, 4 minus, I mean the sign, square root 3. So the plus becomes minus, 4 minus square root of 3. Right? That becomes the conjugate. Now, since we are actually multiplying divide by same number, it's as good as multiplying by 1. So we are not changing the expression. It is exactly same as given to us. Now we can apply the distributive property in the numerator. To expand and simplify, it kind of gives us 7 times 4 is 28, 7 times minus square root 3 is minus 7 square root 3, square root 2 times 4 minus 4 square root 2, right? And this negative negative is plus square root of 6. Denominator, we are doing kind of a plus b times a minus b is equals to a square minus b square, right? So we'll apply this formula straight. You could actually expand and then simplify also. So a square minus b square means square of 14, 4 is 16, minus square root 3 square is 3, right? So this is what you get. So you have in the numerator, you could write still what you had, 28, 7 square root 3, minus 4 square root 2, plus square root 6, right? And the denominator is simpler. 16 minus 3, which is number 13, right? So that is how you could rationalize. So I hope this strategy of rationalizing is absolutely clear to you. 5 over 2 minus square root 3. How will you do this one? Well, it is same pattern. 5 over 2 minus square root of 3. Multiply and divide by 2 plus square root of 3, right? Since it is negative in between, conjugate will have positive. The idea is to use this formula, get rid of square root term, right? So you get this. Now you can multiply 5 times 2 is 10 plus 5 times square root 3. And the denominator is a square, which is 4, minus square root 3 square, which is 3. And what you get is 10 plus 5 square root 3 divided by 1, or just 10 plus 5 square root 3, right? I hope you remember this. We'll be using the technique of rationalizing denominator a lot in complex numbers. So you can review that part and then move on. Thank you and all the best.